Hello everyone, welcome back to another paint and chat video. I know you guys really liked the last one of these, so I figured that I would make these a thing on my channel. So as usual, any particular topics that you might want me to talk about in future um, episodes or whatever of these types of videos, definitely leave those in the comments. I do like to mix it up per um, topics that might be relevant um, to a certain thing that's happened or whatever, and also um, requests and suggestions from you guys. So definitely leave those in the comments. But today we are going to be talking about the very happy and exciting topic of burnout. <laughs> yeah. Again, this is more of a relevant thing because I have gone through a pretty burnt out um, section and I just kind of wanted to talk about my thoughts on it and kind of how I got over that. Um, it's a very relevant thing to a lot of people right now. I'm sure you have seen all of the different YouTubers that have kind of taken breaks because of burnout. It's just, it's been a very hot topic lately. Um, and it's definitely something that's very prevalent for artists. So I thought I would just put this video out there um, that has my particular thoughts on it um, and kind of how I overcame it and different things like that. So basically, um, a little background. Um, the last six months have been absolute insanity for me. I'm sure you have kind of seen that. Um, like in June, I started building my crazy Emphis Nest costume, which was 10 weeks nonstop, like 14 plus hour days, which obviously normally after I do a humongous project like that, um, I take a bit of a break, whether I um, plan to or not, because normally I'm making a costume for a convention, and then after the convention, I normally just end up getting sick because I have no immune system. So that just is kind of like a forced break for me, and it normally works out then. Um, but this time it was a bit different because I had a whole bunch of commissions um, at the same time. There's a whole, I should have like started this better. I just wanted to throw it out there that if any of my commission people are watching this, please don't feel bad. This was definitely all my fault. Um, and I definitely don't regret the burnout. I know that's kind of a strange thing to say, but it has forced me to think about working smarter, if that makes sense. You know, the idea that you get better at things because of the mistakes you made. So that whole kind of mantra idea. So I definitely don't regret doing this. I definitely, you know, in hindsight could have handled things better, worked smarter, or whatever. So the thing was, is that I knew that I was going to take this large amount of time, essentially, to make this costume, like, work on the project nonstop. So I put a very large um, commission project on hold until after um, finishing my costume, because, you know, just for my sanity, which was a great thing to do, um, I just, you know, I felt that I would do a better job by focusing on one thing at a time. And then in that time of working on the costume, I got another commission offer. And like, I don't say yes to every commissions. I know it sounds like I do, but all of these projects were things that I was very interested in doing. And obviously I was very flattered that the people approached me to um, possibly work on these projects. So that is why I ultimately said yes, even though I might have, should have maybe held off or just, you know, worked smarter again. Um, so yes, so now I was up to nine commissions to come back to after this crazy 10 week spur. And so I finished the costume, it went very viral. So I spent the like four days that I had as kind of like a break in between finishing the costume and having to do this convention, basically nonstop interviews and PR, like it was insanity. So, had all of that, went to the convention, obviously that is one of my craziest weekends of the year, um, Fan Expo Canada, if you are wondering, um, did that, came back to even more kind of PR and everything else. Also in this time, the Star Wars Fan Awards were going on, so I submitted that, again, even more PR for this costume. This is not me complaining, this is just kind of laying the land of what went down. Um, 
So yes, tons of PR for this costume. I, of course, as usual, did get sick afterwards. So at this point, I am already really exhausted from doing this 10-week project. I have all of this extra interview stuff and PR stuff about this for this costume that I was not expecting. And I have nine commissions, which at some point went up to 10. <laughs> um, and I'm also at this point sick. Um, so yeah, things were not going very well. There was literally like at least a four week point where everything that I did went wrong. <laughs> um, I can't even remember everything that happened but it, it was not going well. Like, the world was against me at this point. Um, so I think I had about a week where things were okay. You know, the PR calmed down a bit. Um, I was finally feeling better so I could work on these commissions. Um, and then a family member died. <laughs> uh, so that threw me for a bit of a loop. So now I have all of these commissions, I'm barely recovered from the project, I'm barely recovered from being sick, and now I have all of this other stuff to deal with. So, you know, after all of that drama and everything else, I did get all of the commissions done. I am really happy with how all of them turned out, which is great. But obviously, I was already, like, working on fumes to begin with, and then all of this crazy stuff happened. And so, by the end, like, in December, and this isn't even considering any of the YouTube stuff, because I'm sure you probably saw there was... I think I didn't upload, like... All almost no content in all of October because that was kind of the height of the drama. Um, so YouTube definitely suffered, which I hate doing because it, it's just, it's my stuff. And that's the other thing that I was like working on fumes so much that I was only focusing on the commissions, which was probably not a good thing because it didn't give me any creative break for my own stuff, if that makes sense. It just kind of felt like a prison, but it was my own fault. And like I mentioned, please, people, don't feel that this was your fault because it was definitely my own doing. Um, and like I said, I do really love how all of the t commissions turned out. I think it was some of my best work, which of course is not a great thing to think about of how bad this like time was. But yeah, I think they turned out great and everyone was happy with them. So that's good. Also, at some point, the Star Wars Fan Awards obviously became a thing and I ended up winning one. So that was even more PR eventually like in... November, December time that, again, was another unforeseen thing that kind of landed on my lap that I had to do, which was obviously amazing, and thank you all so much for voting for me, but it was just, it was a lot. Like, I had no time to, like, I still have had, like, zero time to process anything, pretty much, that has happened in, like, the last four months. That is how, like, out of my mind insane I was for, like, just pulled every which way like a voodoo doll. Um, so naturally, in December comes around, finally all of the commissions are done, they're all sent off, they all look great, and I just had nothing left. Like, I knew that um, when, like, the holidays rolled around that I was going to take probably, like, the two weeks, which, you know, gave me a lot of time to think about things, which kind of brings me to my next segment of kind of, like, how I personally got over the burnout, which I'm still, I would say, recovering, if that would be the right word, but how I'm gradually getting over that just complete block of wanting to work on anything. Because obviously, it's not like I stopped liking drawing and painting and everything. I just had no energy for it. And, like, this whole year has kind of been like that. And so, like, the two weeks that I took off gave me a lot of time to kind of think about how to work smarter. Which, obviously, the number one thing on that list was don't just throw yourself into the commission pit and not work on any of your own stuff because that clearly didn't work for me. And, of course, the other thing is don't spend 10 weeks on the most ridiculous project of your life and try and do 20 million other things with PR and emotional craziness and everything else. Um, because clearly that didn't end up well either. 
But like I said before, I'm kind of glad this happened because it made me realize that how I have been working for the last, at least the last year, possibly even longer, is not working for me. Which this is not like, I'm taking a YouTube break, that's not it at all. I think this is going to benefit absolutely everything and what it came down to was how I used to work all of the time. So I kind of started my YouTube channel back again because I did like throw up a few like random paper crafting videos, which they're still up there. That's kind of, I think they were like the first videos on this channel, but I kind of just randomly happened to start posting drawing videos. And what that came down to is I used to just kind of work on what I wanted whenever and post it whenever. And so for me, what I realized is that I work the best when I create impulsively, <laughs> which sounds slightly crazy, but all of my favorite paintings, drawings, and everything else. Like some people might say like a burst of inspiration, which is exactly what it might be. You know, I'm inspired by something so much that I have to sit down and draw or paint that right then. But it is the idea that at some point it became, you know, start working on this week's video on like Sunday or Monday. You know, figure out the week before what you're doing the week before, like for the next week, which is still kind of what I'm doing, but it's the point of if I do not feel like working on something at a particular time, then don't force it because forcing me, like forcing myself to work on things is how I end up not liking the end result. For instance, there is one of my favorite um, paintings, drawings, whatever you want to call it, I created on like the craziest six hour stint going, I like, it was from a TV show. I literally watched the TV show episode, like an hour later I was drawing the thing and then I stayed up all night creating it. And it is still one of my absolute favorite pieces of artwork. So that's kind of my, um, what I kind of mean by create impulsively, things like that is what ends up working the best for me. And like looking back at all of my older artwork that I absolutely love, it's the impulsivity that is what I like about it because I get the idea down there. Not that planning is bad, but it's just how everything for me turns out well that I'm also happy with it. It is just impulsive continuously, which might sound like not a brilliant plan to like throw myself into, but that's kind of what I'm going to start trying again. Of course, I was one of those people that decided that, oh, we're going to bullet journal, which I kind of already did before, which I don't, I'm not like a crazy bullet journal person, but it was the thing that I went to the next level and I just completely scrapped that because it was too much scheduling which for me, I don't know if it's just my brain. It also probably doesn't help that I'm diabetic, which might seem like a strange thing, but obviously if my blood sugar drops, I'm like out for at least two hours because I'm like too shaky to work on anything. So obviously my health dictates more what I'm capable of doing day to day, which I hate using as an excuse, but it honestly is probably one of the other reasons. I know that the last um, pain chat video that I did, it was about rituals. And I had said about how I feel that my best work is done at night. And somebody said that they too found that I worked better at night. And they thought that it had a lot to do with, they had um, some medical condition or something, and they felt that their pain was lowest at night. And Obviously, I don't have the same, I'm not sure exactly what it was, but it made me think. And that could be another thing because at night, it, it is the lowest chance of my blood sugar um, dropping and like clunking me out essentially for a couple hours. And so other than like the other reasons I stated in that video, that too could have just been kind of a subconscious thing that... I just kind of realized that I am the most productive at night because I don't have any medical issues holding me back, if that makes sense, which I've always been a night owl anyway, so 
I'm sure other things contribute to it. It was just an interesting thing to think about. So yes, the main thing that I took away from this is I need to find balance. In the two week little break thing that I had there, I spent most of it like completely flying through The Legend of Korra, which I'm not gonna spoil that, so don't worry. But if you have seen it, you know that at one point there is this kind of catastrophic event that makes the main character, Korra, kind of rethink everything and refine balance. And so that is kind of what I am needing to do because I have felt that I haven't been as creative as much lately, which I know coming off of like, oh yeah, this was my best work and I got this award for this crazy costume I built. And it's like, that was one of the worst years ever for me. <laughs> and that's kind of a crazy thing to think about that all of this great stuff happened. And I also see it as one of the worst times for me. And so this time and year and whatever is all about finding balance. Creatively, obviously, I'm still going to be making tons of YouTube videos. Um, I'm probably still going to be able to adhere to a somewhat schedule uh, because the idea of creating impulsively is not necessarily creating erratically. Um, so there will probably be enough content to go around. There might actually be more, um, depending on how impulsive I'm feeling that week. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on burnout. I know that there could be some of you right now that are kind of dealing with the same idea. You kind of threw yourself all at it at the end of last year and now you're just kind of feeling um, off. That's the other thing is that I feel like I've lost so much of my balance, like work and creative wise that I'm still feeling off. I don't know how else to say it. Obviously, I have been working at artwork and that has been my thing for so long. So it has, it affects me so much that that being off just kind of throws my life balance. So yes, hopefully this video might have helped you a little bit. I've been rambling for way too long. I'm sorry if this really is rambly. You might like rambly though, who knows? So yes, definitely leave your thoughts on this subject. Maybe you can help some other people because obviously I know I'm sure that my extreme circumstances are not exactly going to help everybody. Um, but you might have some thoughts on the subject that could help, you know, help each other out. And also, like I mentioned earlier, definitely leave any other um, subjects that you would like to hear me talk about in the comments. But thank you for listening to this very rambly video. Of course, I never talked anything about about the art. It was completely done in India ink um, in my watercolor moleskin journal, which I'm trying to finish up. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the blurb about the artwork. Uh, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.